they close it out tonight with another W. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They're about to drop the puck. This city's been buzzing all day about this one, and we are now underway. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Michael's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Moves it to Burakovsky. Slides it over to Johns. Great read in the offensive zone by Burakovsky. Minnesota's, oh, what a chance here! They gain the zone! Great save on the play! Oh, my goodness! And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Michaels won the draw here in the offensive zone. Seattle's got possession of the puck. Minnesota's moving it into the offensive end. Knocked off the puck. Burakovsky's taking it from his own end. Hammers it in the open ice. Some players get into the game by physically engaging. His score! There it is! His first of the season! I can't remember the last time a goal has been scored against him, James, but that's going to do it. That's going to end the streak. But he has been unbelievable. Tracking, dialed in, and making so many amazing saves. The Kraken has served up a quick goal here in the first. The crowd's loving it, and they've got to be loving it on the ice, too. Well, there's one way to make the road team uncomfortable or feel uneasy in a game, James, and that's getting on the board first and getting your fan base into the game. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Grubauer has been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he is out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. They fight for it along the boards. Minnesota's looking to break out. Seattle's got it from behind the net. You know I stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Taken along the wall by Gould. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Breakaway! Denied on a breakaway! Oh, he came up clutch there! Well, he really did. At any time that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you got to beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. More than half the period left to play. Seattle's up one zip. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Centering feed! Takes him lost! Oh, sensational stop with the stick by Grubauer! You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Poked away by Gostas Bear. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Passes over to Corbin. Quick pass to right. Minnesota's got the puck now. And he takes the feed. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Feeds the puck up to right. Puts it on net and makes the save. Dubnik's giving his team a chance to come back in this game with that save. You know what he did the other night, but you're not going to be perfect every night, so his team's got to find a way to fight in front of him. Chance in front! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Scores! And we are back! Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they just created and doing something with it. Well, I love that he's got a sweet set of hands here on this play, James, but it's also his awareness, knowing where the opponents are and how to manipulate them. But what he does best is give this gift to his teammate who finishes it off for the goal. Looks like lineups are set. They're ready to get things back underway. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Stop 
Markic in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face-off. Markin's been showing some frustration. You know, when you want to contribute as an athlete, especially when you have a strong skill set, and then you're in a pointless streak, man, the frustration grows and it builds, and you start to squeeze the tech tight. Handles the puck, and that's blocked away. Quick feed to champion. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Slides it diagonally to Burakoski. Shot, and that carries off a body in traffic. Turn that one aside. Oh, and a board rattling hit right there. Well, certainly was lined up perfectly, body on body, weight distributed right in there. Past the halfway mark of this period, we got a tie game. And they win the draw on their own end. Now a quick pass to Kane. Takes the feed. Here's... Dies in the traffic jam. Inside the offensive zone. Shot! The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. Directs it on over to Koivu. Moves it to Niskanen. Here's a pass in front. Big defensive hits up play to pick it off. Tees him up, shuts it down, what a stop! Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Boards wanted in their own end. Bjorkstrand swooping in on the attack. Fires it! Stars. The go-ahead goal puts them in front! Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strikes be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. The way players train in this tech technology are a reason why a shot like this gets off so quickly, James. Absolutely incredible speed, but the amount of time to get it off the stick, that's the real deal-breaker. The Kraken have broken the deadlock here in the first and have the lead. Well, when you have a quick strike and you get the go-ahead goal, you want to stay on the puck. You know that the entire staff is going to be telling the bench, let's keep it going, stay on the puck. Let's try and stretch this out. Quick pass to Heatley. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Here's a shot. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Grubauer. On the attack along the board. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Throws it in. Taken by Alexiak. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Picked up along the boards by Commonville. He says, let's get physical on that play. And he takes the pass. Too much congestion in front. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. Great pass from the left wing. Steps into the offensive end. Puck dumped in, they'll go off for a breather. Moves it up. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Scores! They tied it up, and we are back to even. Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. They used their speed on this counter attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it, they could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. And it winds up in the back of the net. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one. Seattle's won it. And now it's grabbed by Larson. Uses the force on that hit. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Puck grabbed by Larson. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Makes his presence known on the ice. Oh, and a 
chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle, and it dies on the stick. And a good save on the play as action continues. The score! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift, and you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. It's players like these that know how to lead the charge and really change any momentum swing in the game. I mean, he doesn't need much time or space. He knows how to score. It's the reason why he's their leading scorer. The Wild have gone up by one, and I like their game here so far tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, and now with the lead, you know that you're setting the tempo. You're really starting to dictate the play, but it needs to be a consistent effort now. One is not enough to be out front to get complacent. Burakovsky's got it along the wing. Great plus save by Dubnik. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Champion's been letting the land with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Seattle's won the faceoff. Blocked in traffic, and he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Period is in the books. The next 20 minutes is on deck next here on EA Sports. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh, and this second period about set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Seattle's behind in this game, James, because they simply haven't had the puck. they got to do a better job of closing on it and holding it when they get it. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Michael's looking to complete the hat trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. Levels him with the hit. Here we go. Scores! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over. On the bench, they know that they've deflated and they push their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent. Well, he had his eyes on the puck, he tracked it perfectly and got himself set to position. James, I thought he had it, he got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. Minnesota's extended the lead to two. Well, James, it's exactly where you want to be. You have a two-goal push in here, but you also know that your opponent's going to start pressing. There's a lot of game left here, and if they get within one, they'll be within striking distance. Koivu's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. And that backs off a stick. Seattle's got it along the wall. Here they come on the attack. Quick feed to Sidorov. Sends the pass over. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed. The Kraken have gained possession. Here's a short pass to Schwartz. And the play continues. It moves it to the middle. And that goes off a stick. Kane's got it in the defensive end. Seattle's looking to break out of their own end. Schwartz plays it against the boards. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. And he takes the feed. Slides it back to the blue line. Seattle's got the puck. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Seattle's got the puck in the corner. Granlin's got it along the boards. Pass from along the wall. Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. Here's a chance in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Minnesota's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Stahl's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And that's turned aside. Sorry for 
jumping in, James, but that was a massive hit. Crosser's got the puck in his own zone. Works it across to Granlin. Scores! And look who's at it again. They are really turning up the heat. Well, so creative and free. And the reason why you can play free because they're playing with a ton of confidence, not afraid to put the puck to the net and, of course, retrieve it. Sometimes he makes his way to the net, James, and I'm not even sure how he got there. He knows how to create space for himself, even when it feels like it's limited. He finds the room to dangle his way to the net. The Wild have a lot of firepower, and we're seeing it firsthand here tonight, Cheryl. Look at the score here. Oh, we're only in the second. I know. They've been manipulating their opponent at will here, completely chasing the game. They just can't get to the puck first. And listen, this is a lot of fun to play in when you're in the offensive end because it is a playground right now. Quick pass across to McCann. They've got numbers here. Minnesota's got it behind the net. And he takes the dish. Michael's been having himself a game, James. He's dancing all over the ice. He's got his legs underneath him. He's got four points in the game, and it has been a blowout so far. Minnesota's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Off the drop, he ties up his opponent. And that shot dies in traffic. Slides the puck. Grubauer's been off his game tonight, really looking uncomfortable between the pipes, and he needs to settle in and find a way to create some momentum for his team. But on the other side of the puck, I mean, the forwards have to contribute offensively, and they can only do that if there's a sense of urgency to their game. And it's a quick pass to Burakovsky. Backtrash with possession back inside the defensive zone. He's got a stop! That's how you do it. The Kraken have dug themselves such a deep hole, but at least they have something to build on now, Cheryl. Yeah, they're clawing their way out of that hole, James, bit by bit, and it's going to be shift by shift, and it's going to be the next player up that's going to have to create energy, and you start by being hard on the puck. Rocks him on the play. period has expired. Seattle still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there! Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. And he loses control here. Oh, and some lost momentum as the puck leaves the zone. Offside the call, we'll get a face-off coming up. Minnesota's been just savage in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in this second period. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Moves it to Granlin. A feed out front! Picked off in front. Quick pass to Magda. And he slides it quickly to Borkin. Pokes it away in his own end. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Slides the puck to Tolman and moves it quickly over to Yamamoto. Takes a shot. That's gloved by Dubnik. The centermen glide into position. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. He got all of that hit. McCann's lugging the puck. Poked 
tucked away at center by Cullen. There's a oh, he saved it! What a stop! Wow, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Just here in the late stages of this frame, up to eight goals scored so far tonight. It's 5-3. Minnesota's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Moves it on over to McCann. Takes a shot. And saved by Dubnik. Burakowski's on the attack in the offensive zone. Quick feed to McCann. And that's blocked. You don't have much margin of error here, and he's able to find the back of the net. It's all about accuracy, not necessarily how hard the shot is. The Kraken has to build on this after that goal. To manage the game in different increments, James, and at the end of a second period, you want to be leading and dictating the pace. No better way than putting one in. Michael's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. The Kraken have taken over in the neutral zone. Denies him! Dubnik's aggressive and at the top of his crease and makes an outstanding save from the slot. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. And there's the save! In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Minnesota's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. Got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Down the right side and into the zone. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Big hit. Directed over to Niskanen. Shot! Great save by Grubauer. In the final moments of this period, Seattle's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Fantastic save! And he slides it quickly to Schwartz. Second intermission approaching quickly here. Now over to Silverberg. Slides it across to Koibu. I'm not trying to take your job, James, but I had to mention that big hit. Wow, that was a ringer. Gliding up to the face-off dots here. Forbes won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Fans want a shot here in the dying seconds of the period. There it is, that's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action, next. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. Puck is dropped on the third, and if you love offense, well, stick around for this one. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Seattle's got to have a fresh start in this third period, James. They haven't been urgent, and they've been chasing the entire game, and I could tell that right from puck drop in the first period. They weren't urgent off of the faceoff. They weren't where they needed to be, and it's looked like that all game long. They need to change it now if they want to get back in this one. Quick feed down low. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Dumoulin. Oh, he got hit by a freight train there. What a collision. Blocking traffic. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Champions picking up steam. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Picked up.
picked up along the wall by Larson. Moving into the attacking zone. Sends it down low. And that's off a stick. Here's a short pass to Champion. Minnesota's on the attack. Pass in front. And that doesn't connect. Slick feed. Back at the point, they set it up. Moves it to Johns. Picks up the puck. The Kraken have the puck against the boards. Moves it over to Burakovsky. He got all of that one. Puck not loose after that hit. And a solid save there as we play on. Passes it in front. And that's stopped. Scooped up along the wall by Alexiak. And puts the body into it a little bumper car hockey. Another hit. He will feel this one by the end of the night. Oh, a tough night for him. He's going to have to keep his head up and move that puck quickly if he doesn't want to get banged again. Along the half wall with the puck. Can complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Quick pass to Schwartz. To his teammate. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Here's a chance! And that's blocked in traffic. Handles the pass. Here's a shot! Here's a shot! And there's a club save on the play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Minnesota's got a 5-4 lead here in what has been a thrilling display of offense. And off the draw, they win possession. Minnesota's moving it along the wing. The Kraken have possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Yamamoto. Minnesota's in now. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Quick feed to right. the boards they battle for the puck grabbed along the boards by Yamamoto puck scooped up by Migna Seattle's looking to break out and now he passes up to right Minnesota's grabbed a hold of the puck here they come up along the wing that's intercepted they've got some momentum here just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck Stopped by the goaltender. There's back-to-back -back saves. Taken along the wall by Tanev. There's another for the hit parade. Here's a short pass to Johns. Minnesota's top line has been just that tonight. They've contributed offensively, and there's a reason they're in the lead. Picked up along the boards by Prosser. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Comes up with the stop. Grubauer's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Minnesota's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Koibu's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Get a piece of that to make the save. Picked up along the wall by Burakovsky. Crosser's moving the puck through his own zone. From off the wall and onto his stick. The Kraken had the puck in the neutral zone. Moves it to Beniers. Oh, what a save in front. Off his stick. Oh, and he misses on a grade eight plus. Chance there. Well, he's right exactly where he wants to be. He's got the puck on his stick, just unable to put it in the mesh. Here's a shot, and that goes on first off a body. Scooped up along the wall by Larson. Seattle's moving it up the ice. Handles it along the blue line. Strong use of the body. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Tries to feed it over to Dumoulin. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. And lowers the boom 
with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from Puck, you know you've done your job. Stars! And the rookie does it again! Well, there was always promise around him coming into the season, uh, him being a goal scorer, James. Well, he has matched the expectation, getting his 20th of the season. Even I could have scored off that unbelievable feed, James. He's just able to corral that pass and put it in the back of the net. Minnesota's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Minnesota's got him along the wall. Seattle's got a hold of the puck now. Strum along the boards. Angles it over to Tolan. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Gets it over to Stahl. Quick shot! What a save by Grubauer! Oh, turns it aside once again! I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender is... Oh, stop it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stop that champions are made of. The setters will glide into the dot. Veneers wins the defensive zone faceoff. up his mind what he wanted to do and in the interim he ran out of space moves the puck over to McCann with possession along the wall puck picked up by Niskanen goaltender has made his way to the bench the extra attackers out they need a goal here big time Minnesota's got possession of the puck Burns has it in the defensive end towards the empty net can't get it to go. The Kraken have it in their own zone. Grabbed along the board by Borgen. Schwartz slides the puck through center. Shoot the puck. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. Well, here was a game that went back and forth. And you know, when you're winning, you find ways to win these types of games. But when you're losing, the streak continues here, Pounder. Yeah, it really does. And for the coaching staff, they're going to go into the room and they're going to try and draw some positives from it. But I'm telling you, the team doesn't want to hear it because at the end of the day, it's still a loss. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the ring.